couple of weeks ago, uh, in our house, uh, we were, uh, Rachel was washing the kids uh, in the bath, and I was doing some dishes, and, and the water turned all brown and gross. And so I wasn't able to wash the dishes because the water was dirty, and she wasn't able, well, she finished the baths with the kids um, in the dirty water, and uh, we got really scared because we were in the middle of a drought, and we thought we had run out of water we thought that our well had probably run down run run out because we were in the middle of a drought and so um the, we stopped using the water that night um and first thing in the morning i went out and we have a dug well i went out and i lifted the cover for the well and looked down in it and there was plenty of water in it i measured down there was there was plenty of water in there i had uh nine feet of water uh from the foot valve to the to the um above the foot valve so i had plenty of water in there um but the water that was coming in the house was all brown so i got really nervous i went and checked the filter and the filter was all brown the filter that was bringing the water um into the house was all was all brown and nasty so i changed it a few times and the water that was still coming into the house brown um that evening i noticed that the well pump was running and running and running and it wasn't shutting off so i was afraid it was going to overheat so i shut it off and then um, went to bed. Next morning, I turned it on. We had no water at all. Uh, so I called uh, a well company. They came out to look at it. And they said that um, the problem was the uh, foot valve. The foot valve had given way. So, the, so at that point, it had been sucking the water up. The pump was working really hard. Uh, it was bringing water in. But it wasn't able to retain the water that was coming into the house. So when the foot valve went, um, when I shut the pump off, all the water drained out and the pump wasn't able to pull water up anymore because the, the house had no ability to retain the water. So apparently as that pump, that foot valve was going, the pump was running hard to keep it, it, water kept leaking back down into the well, stirring up all the dirt and getting dirty water into the house. You know, I, So we got that fixed $1,000 later. Um, we have clean water in the house again. And so it made me just think about the importance of us, you know, having uh, clean water in the house because we couldn't do my dishes without it, didn't have anything to drink with it, with, without it. You know, you, you couldn't make food that required water. Um, you know, I couldn't make any iced tea. We couldn't take baths. You couldn't brush your teeth. Uh, we couldn't, well, we could, couldn't flush the toilets. And, you know, so it was a real problem not to have clean, good water in our house and i thought about that in terms of our spiritual life how important it is for us to be constantly being filled uh with with the the cleansing uh uh life water of the lord um you know jesus said that i'll give you living living water and so we got to be constantly washing ourselves with the with the water of the word receiving the good things of god and, and a couple things the first things that i that i looked at when i when we didn't have clean water anymore was the water filter and you know i think about the verse in proverbs um chapter 4 uh where it says in chapter 4 23 guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life, or above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. And, and you know, we have to, as Christians, if we're going to grow, if we're going to be filled with clean uh, water, if we're going to have the water of the Word washing through us, we need to make sure that that water is clean and that it's filtered water. So, um, you know, people are telling you stuff all the time. You're listening to the radio and to TV and, and to your peers and the people you work with. And everyone's giving you their opinion on everything. Everyone has a way that seems right to them. And so we need to make sure that we have a filter that we're uh, using to guard our heart, to guard our minds in Christ. And that filter is, is the Word of God. We need to be constantly in the Word of God saying, what does God's Word say so that when the imperfections and the other teachings and the, the false teachings, the lies, the things other people are believing come my direction, I have a filter to block out that filth or that dirt so that my heart doesn't believe it, so that I don't let that in and let it change me. And so uh, first I thought my, the problem was my filter. But it ends up that the problem wasn't my filter. Um, it, the problem wasn't that there wasn't water coming into the house. The problem was that the foot valve 
uh, the foot valve went. Now here was a retention problem. You know, and, and I think about that. How many sermons we hear, um, how many times, you know, uh, we, we read our Bible and we just read through it really fast so that we can run out the door. Or you listen to a sermon, but you don't take notes and you don't uh, think about it the next day or the day after. And, and that, there's a, there is so often a retention problem with, with our faith because we're not meditating on the Word of God. When that water came into my well, if the foot valve didn't click on, it wasn't able to retain that water, it would all go, it would all, uh, the, the water system would lose that water that the well worked so hard the well pump works so hard to bring into the house. Uh, you know, you work hard to sit down and read. You work hard to get to church and listen to, to a sermon, to do some studying. What are you doing to make sure that you retain that which you had received? Um, Psalm chapter 1, verse 2 says, But they delight in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on it day and night. They delight in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on it day and night. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Uh, it's been said, faith uh, is not something that just hears the word of God. It's, we do what the word of God says. And so if we're going to be strong in the Lord and we're going to have uh, be constantly washed with the water of his word, we need to make sure we retain what we have heard uh, from his message. And so in order to uh, succeed at that, I want to encourage you to meditate on the word of God. So when, when God says something to you through your uh, through your personal quiet time when you're reading the word of God, uh, you know, write it down, copy it over, memorize it, think about it over and over so you don't lose what you learned. When you hear a sermon um, and something stands out to you, if you learn something, you know, write it down. Uh, make yourself a flashcard. Think about it. Meditate on it so that what was invested in you doesn't just all leak out because you failed to retain it. I had no clean water in my house because my foot valve failed. How is the foot valve of your faith? Are you retaining what God puts in you. After God gave you the water, after God came and, and gave you this powerful truth, were you able to retain it because you memorized it? Because you put it into practice? Because you thought upon it? Because you let it start to transform you, um, you know, and renew your mind? So I want to challenge you today. Don't just read the word. Uh, retain it. Don't just hear a sermon. Retain it. Uh, meditate on what God has given you so that it will benefit you so that you'll have uh, uh, the you'll have the word you need at the right time and you'll be able to put it into practice so god bless you and keep growing